Yo, what's going down, guys? It's your mate Kassar, back again here with a brand new video. Before this video begins, if we can hit 50 likes in this video, it'd be greatly appreciated. Share the video to all your friends. Merry Christmas to everyone out there. If you just got 2K17 for Christmas, you guys will be wondering what is the best build for every single player type. So, we're going to go through the best build for guards, best build for small forwards, power forwards, and centers. For first off, we're going to go with the point guard position. If you want an all-round player type, for this, I'm going to say which one's the best for twos, threes, pro am, and no one really plays fours. Who cares about fours? But the best build for a two v two is definitely a playmaker. As you guys can see, you got Dimer, so you can get easy assists to your center. Ankle breaker, hey, you can get your your bark badge. I don't know. Ankle breaker is not really that good, but pick and roll maestro. If you have a good player who can set screens for you on the twos, Hall of Fame pick and roll maestro will do you wonders. You will not miss many open shots at all. The other badges don't really matter. As well, for the 2v2s, I suggest a 6 foot 4 playmaker. Why? Because if you're 6 foot 4, you can score, you can rebound, you can defend any position on the court. It's like the ultimate position for a point guard. Then for wingspan, you can just put it minimum, doesn't really matter. But I would put it one up for minimum. That is in my opinion. Weight, weight, just put it down a little bit. Put it to like 190. 190 or 188, I'll say. 188 for your for your weight. Shoulder width doesn't really matter. We're gonna go for the best 3v3 type point guard that you guys should run with. Now, I know a lot of people don't want playmakers, but if you want a playmaker for threes, make a six foot two, minimum weight, minimum wingspan. That is the perfect way to play threes with a playmaker. But if you want to play threes and shoot, just hit the sharpshooter up. If you want to do it with the slash, I suggest for the second, I wouldn't make a sharpshooter. I would make a slasher. I would make a six foot five slasher reason being is because if you're six foot five you're not going to get bullied on defense you're going to be able to posterize anyone so easily it'd be easy as hell once you get the hall of fame posterizer hall of fame relentless finisher and then you'll get the hall of fame one man fast break on the break you will not miss a you may, won't miss a three ball from fading away off dribble so that is the second best thing to use for a point guard now, we're not going to go shooting guard because shooting guard and point guard are the exact same position, really. Now, for the small forward, if you guys want to play an all-round game, I suggest the point forward position. Now, reason being the point forward position for a small forward, I would make it 6 foot 8, just like LeBron James in the NBA. Wingspan, doesn't really matter. You can put it to whatever you want, but I suggest like 2 or 3 away from the bottom. Weight, make it at least, I think it's 220 pounds to get Bruiser. So I highly recommend doing that because that is an ultimate park badge. Oh, not a park badge, but a badge you can use to become unstoppable in the park. Now, that is the best position for twos and threes and for Pro-Am. But if you guys want to have an all-round better play on defense, I really highly recommend making a lockdown defender. A 6 foot 10 lockdown defender, maximum wingspan. I don't really know about the weight, but put it to whatever weight you guys want. But that is the second best one for a small forward position. So if you want an all-round position for small forward, be like a LeBron James top player. Choose a 6 foot 8 point forward. That is the second best. That is the best all-round small forward position. Second best will be a lockdown defender for you guys. Now we're going to go to the power forward position. In my opinion... Power forward position, you would not need anything else but an athletic finisher. Now, reason being an athletic finisher for power forward would be because you're a bigger slasher, so you can be able to posterize. You have more speed. Your mid-range will be pretty decent. You're not going to be able to shoot threes. But this is what I suggest if you're a power forward, but I would not suggest making a power forward. Second best build for a power forward possibly be between the stretch big and the locked end defender but as i said before do not make a power forward because you can just make a center and on any of these builds so we're gonna go straight to what is the best build 
for center, for 2v2s, for 3v3s, and for Pro-Am all-round glass cleaners. Now, you can make it a 7'1 glass cleaner or a 7'3 glass cleaner. The only difference is you get a plus one speed if you're a 71 glass cleaner, which can mean a lot or it can mean nothing. You get the exact same rebanding, everything is the exact same, except for your speed goes up by one. That is the best build for center. Easily the best build for center. You're probably saying, why so many people have the glass cleaner build? Everyone has one because they're the best center build by far. You can use it for anything. But if you want a center build that st stands out from the rest, Highly recommend making a paint protector. The reason being is because you're just a humongous, humongous paint nuisance. You can't score on you. You can still catch rebounds. You can do everything. It's just way better. You'll be blocking shots so much. But for all you new guys who are new to the channel, who are new to NBA 2K, who just got the game for Christmas, if you want some badge tutorials, make sure to drop that like for me, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you guys for 9,800 subscribers. I know we're going to hit 10k by the end of the year. Daily live streams coming out on Boxing Day. So the 26th we'll have more live streams. But thank you guys for watching again. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.